This is a grain farm. One of the many practices we implemented on this farm to improve wildlife habitat is field borders. That goes along the edges of his corn and soybean fields. Rather than planting right up to the property line, Tupper decided to leave a, a swath of land anywhere 30 to 40 feet wide and plant native grasses and wildflowers. We have between owned and rented probably 15, 1800 acres. I always had a real interest in quail and quail hunting and wildlife in general on the farms. Having borders along the fields, they might be 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet. They don't have to be huge. It's just an area that they can move back and forth with and have cover and food and a place to nest. Field borders can provide cover for wildlife right along the edge of the entire field. It can be a corridor that they can use that they feel safe in because a lot of these plants can be five, six feet tall, but underneath them there's room for the animals to move beneath it so they're safe from predators. What's happening around us, I mean, everything's shrinking. There's certainly a whole lot less available for wildlife, for the pollinators, for, you know, just human enjoyment too. It's all part of that, to see something that's pleasing to the eye. So that to me is important. The NRCS is a great resource for landowners and farmers. They're very helpful, they're hands-on. So many of these projects we would not have been able to accomplish without their assistance.